there guys, it's me Pat and welcome back again to another tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to discuss about how to evaluate using truth tables. So if you haven't watched my first video about introduction to truth tables, make sure to watch it first so that you know the operations that we are going to use and their truth values. So I'll be putting the link down below or up here so that you can navigate to it easily. So let's start with our first example, which is not P and Q. So ang una-una nating step na gagawin is to determine the number of variables. In this way, malalaman natin yung pattern sa truth table and malalaman din natin yung combination of truth values. So for this problem, ang number of variables natin ay dalawa. So which is P and Q. So yung Q dito is 2 raised to 0 which is 1, at yung p naman dito ay 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2. Okay? So, etong values ng 2 at 1, yan yung gagamitin natin na pattern mamaya. Ang next naman natin is the determine is yung combination of truth values. We're in my formula yan. Yung formula na yan is 2 raised to n, where n is your number of variables. So, in this case, we have 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 4 combination of truth values. Okay? Ang next step naman natin is to construct the truth table. So, ganito siya. Ayan. So, kanina, sinabi natin yung P, meron siyang pattern na 2. So, ibig sabihin dyan is meron tayong dalawang false at dalawang true. While yung Q naman, sinabi natin, isa lang yung pattern niya. That means, meron tayong alternate na false and true or isang false isang true, isang false, at isang true. So na, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 combination of truth values, which is ito yun. Okay? After ng second step natin, magproproceed tayo sa third step, which is to fill up the remaining values inside the truth table. Para ma-fill up natin yan, is babalikan natin yung given, which is etong not P and Q. Ang uunahin natin is yung single na expression going to the complex expression. Pag sinabing single, isa-isa lang. So, ibig sabihin, eto muna, not P. Tapos, tsaka tayo magproproceed sa complex, which is not P and Q. Okay? So, after natin yan malist, ready na tayo kuha na yung truth value. So, yung truth value ng not P is ang gagawin lang natin, in-negate natin itong P. So, for this one, we have false. Eto magiging true. Ito namang false, magiging true. Then true, magiging false. Then true, magiging false ulit. So now, let's proceed to this one. So, kukuha ni natin yung not P na truth value, which is this one, and yung Q. So, etong dalawa. Ang operation na gagamitin natin is this one. This is end. So, ang shortcut natin kapag nakakita ka ng end operation, is kapag may false, lahat ng statement ay false. Okay? So, not P and Q, that would be false. So, T and T, that would be true. False, false, that would be false. And false, true, that would be false. Okay? So, ito na yung na-construct natin na truth table sa example na not P and Q. So, let's now proceed to our second example. And this would be P or not Q. Again, ito na yung mga steps, guys, na gagawin nating guidelines. So, first is to determine the number of variables. In this case, we have 1, 2. 2 variables, which is P and Q. Tapos, kailangan natin i-obtain yung pattern. So, yung Q would be 2 raised to 0, which is equal to 1. And P would be 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2. Okay? After nyan, is kailangan natin ma-determine yung combination of truth variables. To do that, we have the formula again, 2 raised to n, where n is your number of variables. And in this case, we have two variables that would be 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4, combination of truth values. After this first step, we are going to proceed to the second step, which is to construct the truth table. So, ayan. So, again, ang pattern natin sa P ay 2. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang false at dalawang true. Tapos sa Q naman, ay isa lang yung pattern natin dyan, that would be an alternate false true, false true. Okay? So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 combinations of truth values. Okay? 
After natin sa second step, we will now proceed to our third step which is to fill up the remaining values inside the truth table. So in here, ano yung single operator dyan? That would mean this one, not Q. So dun tayo magsa-start, tapos tsaka tayo magpro-proceed dito sa whole na expression na to which is P or not Q. So kukuha ni natin yung value ng not Q. So ito yung Q, di ba? Ine-negate lang natin yan. So false would be true, then true would be false, false would be true, and then true would be false again. Okay? Now, after natin yan is ito naman. Kukuhanin natin yung truth value ni P at i-or natin siya dun sa not Q. Remember guys, pag yung or, ang pipiliin natin lagi dyan ay true. So again guys, kapag or, automatic kapag nakita tayo ng true, yung statement niya ay true. Okay? So in here, kukuhanin natin yung P at i-or natin sa not Q. Okay? So that would mean false or true, that would be true. False or false, that would be false. And then true or true, that would be true. And then true or false, that would be true again. So guys, ito na yung na-construct natin na truth table out of this example of P or not Q. So I'll give you 3 seconds para medyo mag-sync in yung lesson natin for today. So let's now move on to our next example. This is not P and not Q. And again guys, yung first step natin is to determine the number of variables. So in here, we have two variables, P and Q. Ang pattern niya would be, since Q is 2 raised to 0, which is 1, ang pattern niya ay 1. And P is 2 raised to 1, which is 2, ang pattern niya ay 2. After nyan, ng pattern is the combination of truth variables. Again, that would mean 2 raised to n, where n is your number of variables, that would be equal to 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4, combination of truth values. So after our first step, we are going to proceed with the second step, which is to construct the truth table. So ayan. So again guys, since yung P natin ay may pattern na 2, that would mean dalawang false at dalawang true. Ang Q naman natin, since may pattern siya na 1, that would be alternate false, true, false, true. And again, kung mapapansin nyo, itong lahat ay merong 4 combination of truth values. Okay? Katulad nung kanina. So after natin makonstruct yung truth table, kailangan na natin i-fill up yung remaining values inside the truth table. So in this example, kailangan uunahin pa rin natin yung simple hanggang sa complex na expression. So in this one, meron tayong not P, not Q, hanggang sa makuha natin yung not P and not Q. Okay? So unahin natin yung not P. Etong side na to ay i-negate natin, that would mean false ay magiging true. Then yung false na to ay magiging true then, true magiging false, and then true magiging false. Okay? Same as with this one sa Q, eto naman tayo magfo-focus, that would mean false magiging true, true magiging false, false magiging true, and then true magiging false. Okay? So, for this example, kailangan natin i-end yung not P and not Q. And again, guys, shortcut natin dito sa end kapag nakita tayo na false, automatic false na yung statement. Okay? So, dito tayo magpo-focus sa columns na to. True and true, that would be true. True and false, that would be false. And then false and true, that would be false. And then false and false, that would be false. Okay? So again, ito na yung na-construct natin na true table for our third example. So let's now move on to our fourth example. This would be not P implies Q. So again guys, we have to determine the number of variables and that would be P and Q. So ang pattern ulit natin is Q would be 2 raised to 0 which is 1 and P would be 2 raised to 1 that would be 2. After that, we have to determine the combination of truth values, wherein ang formula natin is 2 raised to n, and n is the number of variables, so that would mean 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 
for combination of truth values. Okay? After that, step 1, we proceed to step 2, which is to construct the truth table. Ayan. So again, guys, yung P natin is dalawang pattern yan. That would mean dalawang false, dalawang true. And yung Q naman is alternate false, true, false, true. And again, guys, etong lahat na yan ay may four combination of truth values na katulad ng kanina. Okay? So, after natin dyan is we're ready to fill up the remaining values inside the truth table. So, in here, we're going to start again from the simplest down to the complex expression. And that would mean etong not P muna. Tapos, kapag meron tayo na value na not P, we are ready to complete yung not P implies Q. So, yung P natin is in-negate lang ulit natin. That would mean false would be true. False would be true. True would be false. And then, true would be false again. Okay? After nyan is pwede tayo mag-proceed dito. So, kukuhan natin yung not P. At i-implies natin siya dun sa Q. So, take note, pag implication, kapag nakita ka ng T at F, that would mean false. And the rest, that would be true. Okay, yan yung mga shortcut natin para mas mabilis tayo makapag-solve, okay? Take note, yung direction is from not P to Q. So, pag ganun siya, okay? Huwag tayo malilito doon. So, that would mean true implies false, that would be false. True implies true, that would be true. And then, false implies false, that would be true. And then, false implies true, that would be true. So, just a reminder guys, huwag tayo malilito dun sa directions kahit na ganyan yung positioning ng truth tables natin, okay? So, let's now proceed to our fifth example which is P or Q group together and P, okay? In here guys, in step natin number one would be determine the number of variables. Take note, meron tayong dalawang variables dito, namely P and Q. Kahit na ulit yung P, counted pa rin siya as one variable, okay? So, after nyan is kailangan natin i-determine yung pattern. And that would mean, P would be 2 raised to 0, which is equal to 1. And P would be 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2. Okay? So, after nyan is kailangan natin i-determine yung combination of truth values. So, meron tayong formula again na 2 raised to n, where n is your number of variables. 2 raised to 2, which is equal to for combination of truth values. After that first step, we are going to proceed to construct the truth table. So, ayan na siya. Again, since yung pattern natin dito sa P ay dalawa, that would be dalawang false, dalawang true, and then sa Q naman is alternate. Okay? So, all in all, meron tayong for combination of truth values. So, katulad nung kanina, we need to start with the simple down to the complex of the expressions para mag-construct ng truth tables. And this is the third step, by the way. So, ang gagawin natin dito, since meron tayong P, which is eto, okay na yan. So, ang kailangan natin i-proceed is eto munang group value, which is P or Q. So, again guys, ang ginagamit natin dito is OR. So, pag sinabing OR, once na nakita tayo ng true, automatic true na yung mga statements. So, false or false, that would be false. Then, false or true, that would be true. And then, true or false, that would be true. And then, true or true, that would be true. So, just a reminder guys, we need to be extra careful sa pagsosolve ng true tables kasi once na nagkamali ka dyan, is magiging domino effect na yan para sa lahat ng expressions, okay? So, after natin masolve to, ready na natin masolve yung buong given. Since meron na tayong value dito, kailangan lang natin siya i-end dito sa P. Okay? Yung shortcut natin kanina, kapag nakakita ka ng false, automatic false na agad. So, false and false, that would be false. True and false, that would be false. And then, true and true, that would be true. True and true, that would be true again. So, for this example, ito yung na-construct natin na true tables. Okay? So, let's now proceed to our last example and this would be P by conditional Q group together or P. So, again guys, kailangan natin i-determine yung number of variables. In this case, meron tayong dalawang variables kahit na ulit yung P, okay? So, yung dalawang variables natin would be P and Q. So, again, kailangan natin i-determine yung pattern 
which is yung Q would be equal to 1 and yung P magiging equal sa 2. Okay? After nyan is kailangan natin i-determine yung combination of truth values with this formula. So again, katuloy na ginagawa natin, that would be 4. After that step, we are going to construct the truth table wherein yung P ay may pattern na 2. So dalawang false ulit at dalawang true. At yung 1 naman ay may alternate na false to false true. Okay? So after nyan guys, we need to fill up the remaining values inside the truth table. So in here, meron na tayong value ng P, di ba? Ang kulang natin is etong by conditional ng P at Q. Okay? So yan muna yung gagawin natin. So guys, when we see this by conditional sign, kapag same yung truth values, ang result lang natin dyan would be true. Otherwise, that would be false. So, in this one would be false, false, that would be true, since parehas. Eto, false, true, hindi parehas, that would be false. True, false, that would be false. Eto naman, since parehas siya, that would be true. Okay? Now, after natin makuha yan, is ready na tayo kuhanin yung buong given na to. So, ayan siya. So, again, kukuhanin natin to, column na to, at i-or natin siya doon sa P. So, ito yung direction niya, guys. True or false, that would be true. False or false, that would be false. And then, false or true, that would be true. And then, true or true, that would be true. So, again, guys, ito na ulit yung na-construct natin na true table for this example. So, just a recap, meron tayong tatlong steps, which is to determine the number of variables at sila din ang magsasabi kung anong pattern at combination of truth values ang gagamitin mo para sa truth table. Ang second step naman would be to construct the truth table itself. And the last step would be to fill up the remaining values inside the truth table from simple expression down to the much more complex expression. So, ayun guys, I hope na meron kayo natutunan in this video. And ito nga pala yung first version natin which is the easy version and gagawa naman ako ng intermediate version or the much more complex one na i-upload ko na lang at ililink ko down below. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!